Right. I'm sorry. Came. I don't want to trip you. What, uh, what happened? This I'm on the road for five hours, you know, for a trip that usually takes me three. Okay. Um, yeah. What happens is still happening out there. Yeah. Uh, I passed an accident for about 15 minutes out of town. I had a car split in half. Um, and so uh, it's unfortunate that I was unable to make it in time, but it's fortunate that I was able to make it. Um, yeah. So. so something I asked almost all the other candidates in Q and A. So did uh, Attorney General Lisa Madigan make a mistake by waiting 18 months to? challenge the state employee pay without a legal appropriation in court? Yeah, the, the uncertainty for that uh, time was uh, certainly um, um, an unnecessary uh, delay. Um, you know, the, the overall problem was not Lisa Madigan's problem, though. It was uh, Bruce Ronner's problem. Uh, decision to hijack the uh, government for the last three years and fortunately eventually some folks from his side of the aisle decided to split with him and and not allow our state to sink further in the hole by way of not having passed a, a budget but if you were the attorney general would you work harder to enforce the appropriations clause of the Constitution or work more swiftly than she did if this happens again? Yeah, well, first of all, like a real shutdown. first Shouldn't off, I, 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 I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't sit on uh, the sidelines, you know, because the Attorney General, um, in addition to having the power of suit, has a bully pulpit. And I think, um, you know, the situation uh, we have been in has been horrendous, um, you know, and hopefully it will never repeat itself again. There was a lot of, uh, you had the disadvantage of having an empty chair with your nameplate yeah, in front of it right. tonight. There was a lot of talk about, as you probably know, tobacco money and, mm -hmm. and uh, utility money and this, that sort you know, of thing. Uh, as Kathy Dre from the American Lung Association will tell you, I have a 100% voting record with, uh, against uh, tobacco interests. And this is, I've never been on for sale. I've been in service for uh, 13 years. I've taken... Um, campaign contributions from a wide variety of people. Not a single one of them has determined a single one of my votes. Uh, the gentleman who I, uh, uh, who people refer to also owns the Chicago Wolves, a medical supply company, uh, a variety of different uh, companies amongst them being a tobacco company. Um, I'm unapologetic because I am simply not for sale. Um, there's no campaign contribution that could determine um, my actions as a public servant. What, what would be your one issue that, you know, your, your opponents had the opportunity to make opening and closing statements. Mm -hmm. What would you have said in that opportunity? Well, I would have first of all said that I, um, I'm running a candidacy not based on promises of what I'll do in the future, based on uh, a record of accomplishments over time, whether it be in criminal justice, whether it be in consumer uh, protection, uh, whether it be uh, fighting for workers' rights, uh, whether it um, be in terms of creating a vehicle for sunshine that deters public corruption by creating the public access counselor within the Attorney General's office. Uh, so I have a long uh, record of um, accomplishments that speak to specifically to the uh, Attorney General's office. Uh, most recently, I, uh, last week, I passed legislation that I think further goes further on uh, advancing the voting rights protections that I've historically advanced with the Illinois Voting Rights Act, as well as a constitutional amendment protecting voting rights. I passed legislation last week to see to it that our State Board of Elections does not participate in Chris Kobach's uh, cross-check policy. I have legislation that I'm working on with uh, Jay Hoffman that would see to it that the Attorney General's office can uh, go directly after those who fail to pay prevailing wage, who misclassify employees, who participate in wage theft, who don't ha have uh, workers' comp insurance for their employees. We shouldn't have to wait uh, for the Department of Labor if the Department of Labor is dragging their feet to make sure that we hold these rogue employers accountable. Is that our, 
Um, I, I'm sorry, this is where I already asked, but why, how, how come you weren't able to attend tonight? Uh, inclement weather that had <laughs> had me uh, on the road for over wow. five hours for a trip that usually takes me three. Oh no! <laughs> um, in fact, I passed. I, I warned some of my colleagues or my opponents who were uh, thinking about heading back that uh, there was an accident uh, that we passed about 15 minutes out of Springfield that has a car split in half. Wow. Um, we decided that uh, in lieu of trying to go at a speed that I would normally go, if the weather wasn't um, what it certainly continues to be tonight, that we would uh, get here safely to be able to uh, um, speak another day. <laughs> okay. And I'm happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is the last question, I don't know, but one of the things that, that also came up tonight was the uh, pension legislation that was ultimately struck down by mm -hmm. the Illinois Supreme Court. Can yeah. you refresh my memory of how you voted on that? Yeah, well, you know, uh, it's one of these, uh, uh, who was it, uh, I forget the pre presidential candidate says, uh, I was against it before I was for it, or, <laughs> or right. vice versa. Um, if you recall in the history of this, um, there was a debate that was taking place in the, in, uh, the Senate, at least the Senate Dems were taking a one posture, and I was part of that, and we were working along with uh, uh, representatives of, uh, of labor on um, a reform scheme that um, would have had the assent of um, the workers. Um, and so there was a long stalemate. Um, I was asked to take a leadership role of a conference committee after I vigorously, and there's a record of this in the debate of the initial SB1, vigorously argued the unconstitutionality of SB1. I was asked to take um, helm of a conference committee to send a bill to the Supreme Court so we could ans answer this question. I took on that responsibility. I haven't run away from what I call middle of the highway uh, assignments, whether it's been pension reform, workers' comp reform, a uh, wide variety of issues where you get hit by traffic going both directions. That's what leadership calls upon. We have an answer now. Um, you know, it's unfortunate we had to go that path to get the a firm answer, but I think we have a, a, a firm answer now. Do you, do you support the consideration model that the Senate president is still says he wants to try? I think he, we have to wave the white flag on that. I think the only consideration model that could uh, could potentially work is where the individual employee were to agree to a modification. I don't think it can be one that is um, forced upon. Um, a group of employees. I think you have to have a, a, a cent, you know, contract. It's basic uh, contract modification doctrine. Um, the actual employee would have to um, agree to a change. So I think in, in lieu of looking at that, we have to make sure, you know, we're sort of at the height of our payment ramp right now. So what we basically need to do is make sure we continue to make the payment. Um, problem is it eats up so much of the overall budget, so we have to also uh, look at uh, alternative forms of revenue. I've been a proponent of a progressive income tax uh, since I came into the legislature. I've introduced bills just about uh, resolutions for uh, to lift a flat tax mandate uh, just about every General Assembly that I've been here. Um, we called one for a vote. Uh, uh, then Senator Frerichs and I were sponsoring the bill, and we only got 19 votes on it uh, when we presented it. Um, I think that's a vehicle for us to have the room to come up um, with a revenue scheme to allow us uh, to provide for the citizens of the state of Illinois. It doesn't make sense for us to have be handcuffed by a flat tax. Most states that have an income tax have a progressive income tax. The federal government has an income tax. It's a pro progressive income tax. Illinois should have a progressive income tax. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. your time, and thanks for being safe. Yeah. I'm